Hello everyone, welcome back to our community. I'm trying out Sammy Clark's new Strength and Pilates program on her form app and I'm so excited to share it with you. Oh my god, that was really hard. I honestly didn't love it. Are you joking? So I'm someone who loves strength training and loves Pilates and I've been trying to figure out a way to kind of split up my week and I've been on this whole journey to become a gym girl and I have a bunch of videos on that but when I saw that Sammy Clark created a program literally for Pilates and strength and I didn't have to do any of the programming, I was like, so I asked on Instagram, what app do you guys want me to try out? And a lot of you guys, a majority of you said Sammy. I gave like five options and it was like 80% Sammy. So when I saw this program, bada bing, bada boom, perfect. Let's get into it. So the app itself, it's called Form App. You can get it on your desktop, your mobile app, and then I actually tried Chromecasting it to my TV, which you'll see in a few, and it worked perfectly. There is a seven day free trial, so that's what I did to try it out for you guys. The Pilates and Strength program is a two week program. I did it for the first week with the trial. If I wanted to subscribe, which we'll get into if I do or not, it would be $22 a month or $120 for the year. The program itself is every other day is either Pilates or Strength. So let's say day one was Strength, day two is Pilates, day three is Strength, you get the point. Most of the time for Pilates, you did have ankle weights or two pound dumbbells, so there was always some Strength in there as well. And each workout was around 30 to 40 minutes. So it was a full workout, which I kind of loved because I have tried out Melissa Wood Health for 30 days. I have a video on that for you. You can go to my channel to check that out. And Melissa Wood Health is more like 10 minute workouts, which I also love, but this was great for kind of like my gym journey. If I wanted to do a full workout every single day, I did appreciate that they were all full 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna let you guys watch my journey of the week. I vlogged the whole thing, so let's head into the vlog and then I will talk through my real thoughts on the program. Okay, so I tried day one of Sammy Clark yesterday. I had to run home and shower, so I didn't give you my immediate review, but I wrote my notes down. So day one of the Strength and Pilates series was a 35 minute full body strength and what I loved was it was no repeats. I love a no repeat. When I'm doing a circuit, it's like you finally nail the exercise and then you kind of just have to like keep doing it and pushing through and the mental strength it takes is difficult. So having a no repeat workout once in a while where it's just like, this one was like just 45 seconds of one exercise and then you move on to the next. I loved it, it flew by. What I also loved was her music was usually on these like types of apps or YouTube workouts especially, it's all like copyright free background music. She had like some really cool remixes of normal music. Like Dancing in the Moonlight, Jordan Belford, like all of these songs that we love, it was like remixes of them, so I loved that. Um, I also loved that she had a warm up and a stretch. I find that sometimes, you know, it'll be like, okay, 35 minute workout, but like make sure you get your warm up in and your stretch after this and it's like okay Well, that's a full hour that I didn't account for so I did appreciate that that was all included in it One thing I will say is I, I should have grabbed heavier weights She was working with fives and tens on exercises that I've personally done like a million times before so I definitely could have gone heavier so just something to note if you are also really experienced and just know that like you can make it more difficult for yourself. I'm used to someone like Sydney Cummings. I work out with her on YouTube sometimes and she's usually lifting heavier than me. So I assumed I should lift what Sammy's lifting. It was honestly perfect because I was, I'm on my period and I'm trying to cycle sync, which I'll have a whole other video about. But because of that, it was honestly better for me to lift lighter weights anyway, but just going forward, Throughout this next week, I'm definitely gonna take that into account. Yeah, I mean, I liked her energy. Those are my thoughts on day one, I'm excited. I'm gonna go to the gym right now and try out the next day of her series, which is a 35 minute booty burn Pilates. So it's with two pound ankle weights. I'm sure you could do it without any weights or a different pair of ankle weights, but I do have two pounders, so I'm actually gonna bring those to the gym. See you there. Keep 
like filming these the next day. So I'm about to go do day three. My review from yesterday was, I honestly didn't love it. My body kind of hurt after, although I think that's because I was lugging like a huge backpack to the gym. So it's not Sammy's fault. I like those ankle weight Pilates videos, like Melissa Wood Health Vibes. I love it and it burned and I'm actually really sore from it. But I think having two pound weights on my ankles for like almost 40 minutes was just a little too much. Like my ankles are sore and I'm glad that I got a booty burn, but I think I just get like a little bored and like, I don't know. I just feel like those workouts aren't meant to last 40 minutes. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just how I felt. Still loved her energy and whatnot, but I don't know, I was kind of over it. Today we're doing day three, which is like chest, arms, like all upper body strength, which I'm gonna take what I said the other day and go a little heavier. So that's the plan today. yesterday I felt like I fully burned out my arms I like took heavier weights out and I ended up also doing just five and ten just like Sammy it was so hard it was exactly what I wanted I'm loving her strength ones they don't feel too repetitive we did three different circuits so each circuit was three moves three times and it went by so fast it was like 45 seconds per move and then we did a burner which was like 45 seconds each exercise eight exercises all the way through and then you did that twice. It was amazing, I loved the music. I am seeing people comment on the videos because you can comment on the app that they want to change the music and I'm like, no, please. But anyway, today is supposed to be a 35 minute full body Pilates and I slept in today, so I don't know if we're gonna make that happen, but there is a chance we do it midday, but like, probably not. If not, we will do it tomorrow. I'm sitting on the floor, don't ask why, but it is day four of Sammy Clark and we're doing full body Pilates. She said two pound dumbbells and two pound ankle weights. And I am running late today, I've worked in 30 minutes, so I'm not going to the gym. I love that because it's minimal equipment on the Pilates days, so if you have ankle weights and maybe like a dumbbell at home, I'm actually gonna link mine in the description below because what I also love is I don't like having in a small apartment a bunch of dumbbells everywhere, but these are two pound weights from Bala that I'm gonna use and I find them really easy to store away. They're not like these big bulky dumbbells. They're kind of cute even if you do leave them out. So I'm gonna link these below because highly recommend. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use two pound ankle weights and wish me luck, let's do it. So her app allows you to use Chromecast so you can get the workout on your TV, which is amazing. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's do it. workouts in general I find when it's not super high intensity and it's like Pilates and you're supposed to just keep going in your own home it's like hard <laughs> unless you have some super zen like Melissa Wood Health or super motivating high energy and fun like Lily Sabri Sammy's kind of in the middle she's super chill super aesthetic sometimes I just get a little bit bored but the workout itself is super hard and such a good workout <sighs> So you saw the 
journey, let's talk about the structure of the 30 to 40 minute workouts. So for the strength workouts, it was basically three circuits in a row, I would say for the most part. So it would be three exercises and you do those three exercises like three to four times in a row and then you move on to the next circuit. And there was always or mostly always a burner at the end of the strength workouts, which I actually loved because they were way more fast paced. It would be like eight exercises in a row for 30 seconds each one after the other. And you would do that one or two times through. And I loved that because I need things to move a little bit quicker in a 40 minute workout when you're not in a class motivated by, you know, being in person and a vibe and all the things. Another part of the structure that I would like to note is each day was mainly, unless it was full body, it was targeted. So it would be like chest, back, and abs, or it would be lower body glutes. So you'd have like 35 minutes to just burn out just your glutes. She had the splits for you already. So you're targeting each muscle group throughout the week, split up super intentionally, and that's really gonna drive results. And I personally loved that because when you're working out from home and you're just like, do, 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 let's do this Pilates class, let's do this the next day. It's not as intentional, but I do love that not only did she combine my two favorite workouts that I've been trying to find a balance of, but she also split it up super intentionally in muscle groups. So I feel like in terms of results and whatnot, it's almost like you had a personal trainer guiding you throughout the program, which is great. Let's get into how I really felt about the workout. So one thing I'll note is I loved the music. This was music that we all know and love, so I loved that. Even though the music was great, I did get really bored. I don't know if I even ended up showing this, but on the last day I cut the workout short and just ended up doing my own thing at the gym because I, I was just so bored. For a 30 to 45 minute workout, if I'm honest, she lacked a little bit of personality for me. And I think, you know, some people like that. They want to just like be told what to do and move on. But I love like a Sydney Cummings. If I'm going to do 45 minutes of a hard workout, I need that like really good motivation as if I'm in a workout class. Like I need someone motivating me, inspiring me, making me laugh. It lacked a little bit of that for me. So 40 minutes of strength without much personality, just kind of... I'll leave it at that. Another thing I didn't love is I don't think she's the best at describing form. So I knew a lot of these moves and have a really good idea of form at this point in my fitness journey. But if you don't, I don't think she was the best at describing form that could prevent you from being injured during the strength workouts. There were times where I was pleasantly surprised and I was like, oh, that's a great tip. Don't get me wrong, like she's amazing. Genuinely, I think that like her programming is Beautiful, spot on the workout itself, unreal. Cause I will say, I think some of my boredom came in where I am now used to in-person workout classes and working out on my own, listening to a podcast or music that I wanna listen to. So it could just be the nature of, if I'm gonna do a class, I prefer either Melissa would help for 10 minutes or someone like Sydney Cummings who's really gonna push me and motivate me and feel like I'm at the gym with her, if that makes sense. So maybe it just wasn't my style that I personally love, but amazing workout truly like I love the combination of Pilates and strength the workout itself beautiful the app was super user-friendly I will put that in as well it was super easy to navigate very simple not over complicated amazing branding like the app was flawless so I'm gonna leave it at that comment down below if you guys have tried it or if you want to try it out or what program you want me to try out next Subscribe if you're new. I love trying out wellness practices and fitness workouts for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Mwah.